Hey friends, it's Dr. Motley of drmotley.com. Happy Friday, it's rainy here in Nashville, Tennessee, and I've had a lot of patients come in, and during the allergy season, and specifically this time where Claritin, all of the antihistamines are going around, people are coming to me saying, Doc, I feel like I'm taking too many supplements. One of the main things that people come in with is a whole amount of supplementation. They'll bring me bags of supplements, like 30, 40, 50 bottles, and they ask me, do I have to take all of these? Now granted, what happens when you take too many supplements is over the years, if you're health-minded, you'll see something on TV, on the internet, or a previous doctor, or healthcare professional says, this supplement's good for this ailment, or this thing is good for the heart, this thing's good for the digestion, and what do we do? We want to take everything to stay healthy. That's a good thing. But then you start to look in your cupboard, in your pantry, and you open it up and you go, I have like a pharmacy in my closet. And everybody has a pharmacy that comes into the office. And the one thing that gives them the relief that makes them happy is when I say, you know, let's just cut these down to maybe five or six things. And people grin and they're like, oh my word, because I'm making a meal out of my supplements. You can actually take the supplements in for the day and not eat for the rest of the day. And that's not a good thing because we all enjoy food. So when patients come in and ask me about all the supplements they take, I want to remind you of this. Here's an explanation why. If you have too many supplements, it could create certain types of toxicity in your body and may have an adverse effect if you're not careful. There are certain basic biological cycles that run in our cells. The number one thing is to create energy. Now, if you take the major components of energy production, we're talking about B vitamins, we're talking about CoQ10, we're talking about vitamin C, we're talking about antioxidants. You don't have to take a ton of things, even if you've had a history of a lot of ailments. And here's why. If you just create energy, your innate intelligence, your body will start to pick off things one by one. Does that make sense? So if you've had a heart issue, if you had a digestive issue, if you take the right combo of things and create energy, your body will go, let's go fix the heart now. Then go fix the digestion. Instead of taking all the supplements to try to fix everything at once, try to make sure that you have supplementation to create energy. It's called the Krebs cycle, K-R-E-B. Check it out. And I go to holisticmethylation.com. It also describes the methylation cycle. So if you take a few set things to help create energy, detoxify gently, you'll start healing things in set patterns. I always compare it to a recipe. You take many supplements, but you don't need to dump them all like you would have ingredients and dump them all in the soup. Ingredients and recipes say, add this at this time, add this the next time, and let it simmer for a while. The body does the same thing. You have a certain amount of energy that you have to use to tear apart your supplements. If you take too many of them, your body has to use the chi, the internal energy to go, how many stuff do I have to process today? So you'll sit there and try to process over 10 supplements and you're like, your body goes, I'm in freak out mode right now because I have not enough energy to process it all. I usually recommend the patients say, let's start off with three or four things and they are relieved, but you'll get the greater effect if you use a smaller amount. Now, if you have a healthcare professional that's put you on a mini supplementation, trust that they have given you the right ratios and I just tell you from my own personal experience, if you're taking too many things and you feel kind of blah, feel kind of toxic, that may be the reason why. Treat it as a recipe. Try to find things that help increase the Krebs cycle and methylation. Find a healthcare professional who works with that. Maybe find some people that test genetics. Put in a small regimen. But I want you to know, less is more. So it may be a little vague today and you got, you'll say, where do I need to go to find somebody that puts me on less? Put the vibe out there, research, and you'll find somebody that can help you find less is more. But anything that can produce energy, anything that can gently detoxify the liver, combine them, and don't try to take, if you can, over seven to eight things. That's a general rule. It's not for everybody. I just want to reach out and tell you that. So if you're taking a ton, don't lose heart. You can get by with just a little bit. That's the explanation why. If you have any more questions, I hope you can just message me. I'll try to get back to you. I gotta go treat people right now because it's gonna be a long day. Love y'all. Hope this explains a lot. Bye.